chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Olabode George, has said that the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and presidential Ufu, Bolatinumbu, was not qualified to Nigeria's to be Nigeria's president owing to this moral deficit. George urged Nigerians to boldly interrogate the moral credentials of any candidate that would be seeking the office of the Nigerian president in 2023. He said, we are entering the time of decision and I want to tell Nigerians to take a very deep breath and look at everybody who is coming out, anybody who has fifth in the closest, be bold enough to tell the truth to power. If you do not do it, then do not complain, the PDP chieftain said. I think this is also going to be applicable to their own candidates as well. Well, George said this on the Arise show on Monday, where he maintained that any presidential candidate in the 2023 election must not be morally deficit, especially as a president acts as a role model. To society and reinforces morals and values. He pointed out that Tinubu would need to be fought right on his state of origin and defend his academic qualifications and emphasized that these truths are known by Tinubu's close friend and associate, Chief B.C. Akonde. George said Akonde, who is a former governor of Washington State, should speak truth to Tinubu. In his words, Chief Akonde knows for sure that Bola Metinumbu is from Iragbaji in Oshun State. Chief Akonde is from Ila in Oshun State. Did he mention all that? What is wrong even if you are from the whole? Tell Nigerians that this is my hometown where I was born. You see, Lagos has this unique culture in the country. In this country, we don't send people away, you know, from time immemorial because Lagos is a commercial center for the whole of west africa so anybody who comes if you want some land we will save the land if you have something to say we look at it we buy we don't discriminate here there's nothing wrong in saying i am proud of my heritage this is where i am from now now you like about where you were born you like about your name you like about all educational qualifications that you claim you have and you are telling us we should trust you to be the president of this country come on no sir whatever it takes we will go out and tell the people the truth what i expect is somebody who is 80 even if you are over 70 you should be bold enough to tell the truth to power these details are not just coming from my head i was vice chairman southwest where there are 137 local governments there. I visited them at least five times. I went all over the local governments in the southwest. I knew everybody and you know who is where and what is what. So what are you lying for? And then we should now trust you to manage the resources of this country for the benefits of Nigerians. Look at what he left behind in Lagos. Who is the Yaloja of Lagos? Who is the only fellow controlling the signage in the old of Lagos State? Who is this senator representing Lagos Central? Now you will be president. Your wife will be Senate president. Your son will be governor. Your daughter will be your Yaloja of Lagos State. Come on, come on. You better change Nigeria's name to Sinumbu. He is now gravity setting to a higher level the whole nation you know i thought it was a joke until i listened to what he was saying no sir god has so blessed this country we have pools of people who would tell truth to power if you cannot tell truth how can you or how can we trust you that you will manage our resources for our betterment we can see the legacy you left in lagos you have become an oracle. Nobody can talk to you. You select who should be on the battlefield. You select who should not be there. Who should eat, who should not eat. You all, though you all those are leaders who surrounded him, lying with him, he is not from here. Be proud of your heritage. That is when 
we can trust you, he stated. Well, you know that uh, Bode George and Tinubu, they are not uh, her, of best friends. And majority of what uh, Bode George is saying, majority of the things he said, they, they are true. They are true. But unfortunately, because of psychophancy, because of uh, people just believe, because of, I think, laziness, people don't just want to press forward. People don't just want to ask questions. People don't just want to think deeply. And that is why you see that, ah, okay, if I cannot join them or if I can't beat them, I will join them. And more so, this whole thing, they are just there for everybody to see. If, and like I said, that most of the things that this man said, like he said, he said he's not saying all these things from his head. But the people themselves are aware. So if the people are aware and they want him to continue or they want him as their president so be it so you don't even need to fight for the people just like you are not saying it, all these things i'm talking about body judging you are not saying all these things from your head the people themselves they know we've been hearing that this man is not from lagos he's not from this he's not from that but people are still, the people the Lagosians are still comfortable with him unless maybe there's something they are going to do or they're going to say something otherwise but majority of them whether they are agree to him with what he's doing by force or maybe by their own act, you know, act of volition or what they have already bargained for whether they are being forced to just accept him like that or they just expect him or they expect him to go go like that or he's been so powerful that they cannot even challenge him so even if he's the if tinubu is even the worst uh, person in this whole world if he has what it takes to to vie for the position it's not left for the people whether to vote for him or not because believe you me no matter what you say from Nazi eternity those who will listen will listen people know the truth just like uh, i made this uh, analogy when i uh, pop will say oh uh, an american will come out and tell us an uh, uh, worry is not this worry is not that worry is not this whether it's uh, from jubri or it's jubri or it's from uh, sudan i said and people are saying oh it is not true how can you be? This is just a mere propaganda to tarnish his image. I say, believe you me today. If Nigerians or the people who are doubting, if they get to know that, oh, this is the truth of the whole matter, and they are aware that, okay, it is true, they will still tell you that they want to go ahead. If Satan himself could have fans, fans, so what are we talking about? Some people know that these are the things that the devil has been doing, and which is not right. It's not even good to humanity. Some people are saying, following him so what do you have to say to that so all these things that uh, this man is saying the majority of the people are aware but they still say some of them still say oh that is the kind of person they want and just like i said whether the people are majority of the people are accepting him out of their volition or they are being coerced to accept him it's a different board game altogether but this information is just out there from time in memorial but unfortunately it is what it is let him go and try his popularity. And just like I said, anybody, even your own party, anybody you are presenting, if only if the people will have the ability to be able to think deeply and be able to make assessments, not that somebody will be telling you, oh, vote for this person, don't vote for this person. It goes beyond that. So let's keep our finger crossed. We all know the truth. Everybody knows solutions to the problems we have in this country. But... Why is it that uh, things are not done properly? That, questions, that question is for each and every one of us to answer. So let him go and test his popularity. No matter what, some people will sit tell you that uh, they want him. Some people will not begin to say, oh, yes, we didn't know much about this man. Now we are beginning to know much about him. If they want to continue with him, fine. If they don't want to continue with him, you have said your own. Let him do his own bit. Let the masses do their own bit. At the end of the day, whatever that comes out of the other thing, as just as we are whether we are enjoying what we are experiencing for Buari to be the president or not everybody is still everybody is still everybody is still facing the music so at the end of the day we all face the music some people no matter what you say some people will not believe you they will tell you yeah, 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 you are just jealous just like i said they are not your uh, best friends they will tell you oh this body judge and this uh, tinubu but the same thing that they told nigerians before Buari came on board they say i better forget you guys are not serious, but at least see what is happening today now. We all are witnesses to that.